Hello, we're going to quickly go over how to remember the shoe point meanings and after that we're going to look at it in a little bit more detail on the five shoe points on the lung channel and after that we might get a little bit into how the four needle technique would work using the shoe points or just how to remember it for that. So first, um, the shoe point meaning for the gene well point is um, mental illness, chest stifling, fullness under the heart. And the way I like to remember this is picturing a witch, um, like for example, like a witch in a Disney cartoon, kind of waving their their hands at, um, you know, say Snow White or the Seven Dwarves and or casting a spell. And the reason... Um, I say waving her fingers is because the gene well point is much of the time, you know, at the located at the tip of the fingers. And the reason we're saying a witch for this example is just picturing the witch being crazy. And since the gene well point treats mental illness. So after that, we have the ink spring. This point treats febrile disease, complexion change, and heat sensations. And the way you can remember this is thinking of the spring season as a good time to go camping and make a campfire. And then relating the campfire to, to heat or the heat sensations. Then after that we have the shoe stream. So this one treats uh, by syndromes wind, dampness, heaviness, and joint pain. And for this one, you can picture someone or say like picturing an athlete with uh, joint pain and then just running a cold stream of water over the joint to try to alleviate the pain. And next we have the Jing River Point. This treats asthma, uh, cough, hot or cold sensations, and change in voice. And for this one, you can picture a riverboat captain, uh, say with, you know, maybe the sailor captain had and the, um, uh, the pipe that, that the captain's smoking and coughing at the same time, or may, and maybe even say he, the riverboat captain has his son somewhere next to him and say maybe the, the boy has asthma or you know with the picturing them with the asthma inhaler that's how i picture it anyway then last one we have the hussy point this one treats the food organs stomach intestines uh, rebellious chi and diarrhea and for this one you can picture a pirate on the ocean as pirates can easily represent being rebellious and so looking on so if we'll go here, so relating this to the lung five shoe points. So lung 11, we have that being the gene well point for the lungs. And this one revives consciousness, clears heat, and benefits the throat. And this treats uh, mental illness, chest stifling, fullness under the heart. That doesn't sound exactly like the description, but it's easy to relate the consciousness and just relating that to a uh, mental and lung 10 we have the ink spring this one descends lung chi clears lung heat benefits the throat and the ink spring uh, treats febrile disease complexion change heat sensation so this we can relate it with uh, clears lung heat and lung 9 this is the shoe stream so on this one we have descends lung chi tonifies lung chi regulates 100 vessels and ACAP that stands for activate channel and alleviate pain and that can relate back to shoestring where we have joint pain and especially um, we can picture this as a uh, lung nine being right on the wrist where you would um, most likely have joint pain then lung eight we have descends lung chi stops coughing and wheezing and as we related to Jing River, asthma, cough, hot or cold sensations, and change in voice, which obviously we can relate that to stops coughing and wheezing.
Then Lung 5, descends rebellious Lung Chi, clears Lung Heat, regulates water passages, and activate channel, alleviate pain. And on that we had the Ho C point, treating the food organs, stomach, intestines, and rebellious Chi, and diarrhea. And of course they were uh, coinciding with the rebellious Chi. And there's just a look at the lung channels five shoe points. So moving on to um, just getting a little bit into the four needle technique, how uh, we would have the elements coinciding with this. So just another quick look at the elements that I want you to see is so the gene well that's referring to uh, the wood element, we have the ink spring laying to the fire element, shoestring in the earth, Jing River the metal, and Hosi the water. But that is for the yin channels. For the yang channels, the Jing well point is going to start with metal. So way you can remember that is the way I like to remember it is picturing a wooden house Picturing the house be wood and the roof be metal. And you can think of yin being below and yang rising. So you can picture the, the metal roof being on top of the wooden, the wooden house or the wooden building. And then as you would use the four needle technique, you, know, you picture, say, um, you have, so let's, um, sorry. Since the lung channel, we have the gene well point starting with the wood. So we would have the gene well point starting with here. So that would be wood and then generating fire, which would be lung 10. Which then generating earth, which would be lung 9. Generating um, metal, which would be lung 8. And then going finally to the, the Hosi point, which would be willing to the water element, would be... Um, uh, sorry, lung five. But sorry if I made that a little confusing at the end, but I hope that'll uh, help clear some, some things up. And what you might consider doing is just screenshotting some of these slides if you think they'll, they'll help you remember later on, but they can be a really good reference for you. But anyway, I hope this helps, and best of luck in your studies.